guys did you know that new zealand is currently experiencing a critical shortage of healthcare professionals i'm talking of healthcare assistants and nurses and they are currently recruiting healthcare assistants and nurses from overseas so this is what i'm going to be talking about in today's video and most importantly i'm going to be sharing with you a hospital which is currently looking for healthcare assistants and nurses from overseas and they are willing to sponsor you they are willing to assist you with relocating to new zealand if you are already excited about today's video you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel my name is pauline pokomoyo and in this channel we keep things real without wasting any of your time let's get into it no comparison i'm a savage classy bougie magic sassy movie nasty hacking stupid what's happening what's happening i'm a savage so guys, New Zealand has got a critical skills shortage occupation list, just like UK and many other countries whereby they are looking for highly skilled workers. But there are some workers who don't fall under the critical skills shortage occupation list but are really needed in New Zealand. For example, the healthcare workers. So healthcare workers, for example, healthcare assistants, are an example of people who are given an exemption and they can actually be recruited from overseas to go and work in New Zealand as long as they get a minimum salary of 27 New Zealand dollars an hour, which means if you are to relocate to New Zealand, you are to get at least 27 New Zealand dollars an hour and 27 New Zealand dollars an hour is 14 pounds an hour and 14 pounds an hour is band 5 entry level for nurses here in UK that's what nurses are getting here in UK when they initially start working in hospitals so it is a good amount of money smash the like button if you agree with me and don't forget to subscribe so guys on the 4th of july 2022 new zealand introduced a visa which is called the accredited employer work visa an accredited employer is an employer who has gone to the government and said to the government i am a hospital for example and i've been looking for healthcare assistant i've been looking for nurses pharmacists doctors etc here in new zealand and i have failed to get the nurses and doctors and healthcare assistants that i need here in new zealand so i now want to recruit from overseas and the government is going to assess and check whether they really advertise those jobs and there was no one in new zealand to fill in those vacancies so if there was no one to fill in those vacancies the government will accredit the employer and that employer is able to recruit healthcare professionals from overseas so today i'm going to be talking about one of the hospitals which has been accredited and is currently looking for healthcare assistance from overseas and nurses from overseas so this is what they say on their website counties manuko GHB is an accredited employer with Immigration New Zealand, which enables us to employ people with skills that haven't been able to find in the New Zealand market. So they clearly state that they have not been able to employ healthcare assistants and nurses from New Zealand. That's why they are seeking them from overseas. If you go further down, they state that we are especially looking for nurses and healthcare assistants across all areas of the hospital click the banners below to apply so if you go on this website they've got different banners whether you are a registered nurse or an enrolled nurse or a care assistant or a registered midwife there are vacancies for you you can click and apply as you can see guys they are stating on their website that they are permitted to recruit healthcare assistants and nurses from overseas and they clearly state that this is what they need they need healthcare assistants 
and they need nurses and they've got plenty plus vacancies and from the information that i gathered this is my own research guys you can do your own research they actually assist you for example if you are a nurse they assist you with the registration process with the new zealand council and if you're a healthcare assistant they also assist you what you have to take note of is if you are moving to go and work in new zealand you have to have your certificates evaluated and i'm going to leave the link in the description box where you can have your certificates evaluated they need to be compared whether they are comparable with new zealand certificates of which from the information that i gathered again once you apply if once you apply for these jobs whatever certificate you are going to submit they are going to evaluate your certificate of which i'm going to be shortly telling you the eligibility criteria before i tell you what the eligibility criteria is the exciting news about this route is that once you get uh, this work visa in two years time after working for just two years in new zealand you can get permanent residency isn't that exciting news guys smash the like button if you think that's exciting news because unlike uk you don't have to spend five good years before you become a permanent resident after just two good years of working you can have your permanent residence and two good years flies by time flies guys so two years is not really a long time and another interesting bit about this visa is that your family even if they are not included in your visa they can apply to join you in new zealand so you can be able to move with your family to new zealand exciting news again so now let's talk about the eligibility criteria what is it that they require for you to come and work in this particular hospital so for you to be able to work as a healthcare assistant in new zealand this particular organization needs you to have a healthcare assistant certificate level three or level four or equivalent and they put in brackets to be assessed so this basically means that if you have a healthcare assistant certificate or you want to work as a healthcare assistant you have to have a level three or level four or any qualification which is equivalent i'll look at qualifications like for example if you are a primary care nurse if you are a nursing assistant they can take your certificates assess your certificates of course they'll assess with your transcript assess your certificates and see whether they're equivalent to level three healthcare assistant or level four healthcare assistant or for example if you did a diploma with allison here in uk they take that diploma they look at the course content they compare it is it equivalent to healthcare assistant level three or healthcare assistant level four that is number one requirement that they want and number two they require you to have at least one year experience so guys what i've noted is that people go and do courses out there for example for someone will say i've done my allison courses or i've done my nurse aid training or i've done my red cross training things like that now i'm just applying for a job what i can advise you is instead of you sitting and applying for a job because I know people who've been applying for six months, eight months, but they've not been working in those six months, eight months. Imagine if you have been working for those six months, eight months, which means you'd have gained valuable experience. So what you have to do guys is, as soon as you get your certificates, instead of sitting and applying for jobs, look at a local clinic, which is nearby, go and be working there. Look for employment. Go and be working as a healthcare assistant there or be working as a nurse aide there such that even if you are applying for jobs, if you're not getting a job one month, two months, three months, you are gaining experience for that one month, two months, three months. At the end of the day, you realize that maybe by the time you get a job, you now have eight months experience or you realize that you will spend a year applying for that job and now you have gained one year experience so one year experience is all that is needed for you to become a healthcare assistant in new zealand and there's a question that i normally get asked when i advertise healthcare assistant jobs i am a nurse and i've written my ielts paper got a 6.5 do you think i can take this route well guys you know that the social economic situation in certain countries is not good for example in zimbabwe the social economic situation 
is not good and the salaries that people are getting are not very good and if you look at countries like south africa south africa there is this called operation dudula they basically don't want foreigners to put it in simpler terms which means more and more people are losing their jobs and more and more people are to lose their jobs because they are promising that they're not going to be renewing their visas and the painful bit about this so-called operation to do is that um they go to the extent of even killing people burning people just because they are employed in south africa and the south african is not employed maybe someone is employed as a nurse in south africa and then maybe a south african is not employed as a nurse they feel like no south africa should not employ people from outside so they are chasing everyone away who's a foreigner so if you are in such a situation guys because i know people have moved from neighboring countries they've moved from zimbabwe to work as nurses in south africa if you are in a situation like that where it's uncertain what tomorrow holds for you because for most professionals who are in south africa as long as you are a foreigner you don't know what tomorrow holds for you you don't know whether your visa or your residence permit is going to be renewed this will be a wonderful opportunity for you so even if you are a nurse there is no harm in you migrating to new zealand as a healthcare assistant after all, you'll be getting the same salary as what a nurse here in the UK, band 5 entry level NHS is getting. So if you're in that situation, it's a desperate situation. You can take this opportunity and become a healthcare assistant in New Zealand. And once you're in New Zealand, you have your papers with you, you can always maneuver and become a nurse in New Zealand. After all, you become a resident in just two years, which means if you go there and you're on a two-year contract, after two years, you have finished that contract and you can now explore other roads and become a nurse in New Zealand if that's what you want. Or you can just register with New Zealand and become a nurse and work in this very hospital that I'm talking about because all they want is healthcare assistant and nurses. So do not let this opportunity pass you guys. I know I talk too much. Let's move on to eligibility criteria number three. Eligibility criteria number three, they need you to be able to communicate in English. So they need you to have good communication skills. So under good communication skills, mostly I've seen that uh, when you're moving to New Zealand, they need you to have IELTS, a band score of at least 6.5. So if you have your IELTS and you have an overall band score of 6.5, it simply shows that you are able to communicate effectively in English. This is all that is required for healthcare assistance. So if you want to become a healthcare assistant with this organization, you just need those three things, guys. Just those three things. It's all that they need from you. So guys, if you've made it this far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends who are willing to relocate to overseas i know i've been asked a lot of times why am i sharing opportunities for healthcare assistance it's because when the uk announced that they are recruiting people or healthcare assistants from overseas a lot of people took time to do these courses some borrowed money some you know people have invested a lot in these healthcare assistant jobs and it's really difficult to find jobs here in the uk so i'll keep on sharing jobs just to show people that it's not only uk where you can relocate and come and work as a healthcare assistant but if you have trained in this course and you are gaining experience in this course or in this field there are other countries with good opportunities as well and good parents as well who can actually accommodate you so that's why i'll keep on sharing these jobs so that i help the multitude of people we have trained in this course and are struggling to secure jobs here in the uk so if you can't secure a job here in the uk the exciting news is you can secure a job in the republic of ireland you can secure a job in new zealand you can also secure a job in australia there are so many countries open for overseas a healthcare assistance so that's why i'm sharing these opportunities with you guys and this is all that I wanted to share with you in today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss 
end of my videos thank you so much for watching guys much love from me to you i will see you in my next video bye